Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am going to discuss how you can create your first Jenkins jobs and how you can build your job. So I will be creating one Spring Boot project and I will try to show you how you can create a job of it and then how you can build your Spring Boot project. So let's get started. Let me go to the IntelliJ and then create a Spring Boot project. You can also create a simple Java project and then try to create a job for it and then try to do a build for that so let me go next and then let's it's a Jenkins application Jenkins job something like that okay go next let me include spring web if you want you can or you it's not required to include any dependency because we are going to create a simple project here I'm just including go to new and then let it open so it will take few seconds to configure itself and download the starter dependency go to this let me reload this load a Maven project okay it is resolving dependencies here get it done let me go to the source main and then Java let me so let me create one logger instance here to log something so let's say logger okay let me import the logger class here okay and then dot get factory okay we need to provide the name here get logger I think okay now let me create one post construct here so let's say public void in it let me try to log some information so let's say welcome to engineering at the okay and let me annotate this with the post construct so this is a simple application that I have developed now what I'm going to do I'm just going to push this application to the github so I already have the git desktop github desktop install on my machine so I'm using this so let me push this repository to the git so let me add this locally and then Jenkins demo app or Jenkins job application this is the application that we have created now add this and let me provide the commit message first commit commit it and push it okay so it will push the changes to the git let me try to show you so it's engineering at the okay 
from here you can see this is the application that we have pushed to the git okay so we are done with the creation of our spring boot application we pushed it to the git now what i'm going to do i'm just going to start the jenkins on my local so it's already running let me close it and then restart so i'm using the var file to restart the jenkins so my var file is there inside d and then we have the folder called jenkins var file let me open a command prompt here and then run the jenkins var file java minus jar jenkins dot var okay so it is started running the jenkins instance locally so once it is up we can log to the jenkins and then we can try to build our first job so you can see jenkins is fully up and running so come here to the browser so it is up on the port number 8080 so let me go there in the earlier videos i showed you how you can install jenkins on the windows machine so you can watch that so let me log in here and uh, let me try to create one fresh job so you can come here to the new item and then i'm just going to create a maven project so let's say it's uh, jenkins job okay maven project okay okay now you can give some description here so let's say this is a demo jenkins first job app okay so here we are using a git project so whatever project that we have pushed to the git i am going to use this url and we'll try to clone the git project in our jenkins environment so we need to include this and here we need to provide the project url so let me come here let me copy this and then come to the project url and then paste it out now go next i am using the source code management for as a git and here you need to provide the repository URL. So this is the repository URL. You can copy it, come to Jenkins and then paste it out. If you want, you can provide your Jenkins credential here. So you can go here and then you can add and then you have to provide the Jenkins username and password that you use to log in and then you can include it here. I'm not going to do that so we have provided the repository url now go next next so i'm just going to use the poll acm so i'm going to use the cron expression so what is cron expression cron expression is to tell jenkins to run your uh, build at what time at what duration so everything you need to specify to the jenkins about your build when you want your build to be run so let's say i'm going to run our build every minute every hours every day every month every year so that is how you can provide your uh, cron expression so let's say the cron expression for this is star five star we need to provide and there should be a space between them Okay, so it will run whenever we are going to commit our changes to the git, it will automatically pick up from there and then start doing the build. Every time we'll try to uh, do a new commit, it will try to pick from the git and then automatically it will start the build for us. So let me go next. Okay, let me try to 
provide the goal and promises goal and option here so let's say we are setting the maven install goal here so let's say install add invoke top level maven targets okay here the goal should be installed okay let me remove this goal as of now okay now let me try to apply and save it okay so our project is up now we have created our project let me try to build it so this is Jenkins job you can come to the dashboard you can see we have created Jenkins job here so from here also you can click on the drop down button and then build it now so you can see it is started building okay so let me go inside this and see what is happening there so let's say go to the console output and you can see it is started building our project okay it is failing let me try to see if any exist dump this this fail to execute goal there is a test failure okay let me try to run this application locally and then try to see if it is running or not so okay so you can see it is failing here why it is failing exception in the thread main java lang exception initializer error class cast exception okay because of this logger i think uh, we are getting the exception so let me try to remove the logger here let me try to simply uh, print out some statement here so let's say i'm using this out uh, let's say it's uh, welcome to engineering at the okay and then let me try to push the changes that we made here to the git so you can see it, the changes are reflecting here let me try to commit again second commit and then push it so whenever uh, we made some changes and commit the code to the git it will automatically trigger one build here so let me show you let me go to the Jenkins job and uh, you can you can uh, wait for some time and then in some time it can it will start the second build you can see it is started the second build automatically because of the cron expression that we have defined there so let me open this build and then show you what is there how it is behaving so I think it is started building the application and you can see our log is also there welcome to engineering at the you can see this log here okay so I think it is working fine let the build be success yeah you can see the build is success and then it is finished successful so this is uh, how you can create your first job how you can uh, try to build your application and if you want to build your application each time you are committing the changes then you have to specify the cron expressions for that so this is about this video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content in the coming videos i'm going to cover how you can create your jenkins pipeline to build your project so let's say you are developing some 
application and you want your dev environment to be run first and then the QA environment and then the production then how you can create a pipeline for that I will be covering that in the next video so please support me and subscribe the channel thanks